it's uh, Mount Ragged in Cape Arid National Park here in uh, Western Australia. Climbed it earlier today, um, and now it's time for a refreshing beer. I'm going to open this beer in a traditional uh, outback way, and that's with a spatula. Now, opening with a spatula can be a very uh, satisfying and rewarding way to open a beer, but it's also fraught with danger. I just want to show you a few things you need to do to make sure you uh, you can successfully open the beer with a spatula. Now, out of all the ways you can fail by doing this, the worst is by um, smashing the neck of the bottle. You end up with a uh, jagged glass of the neck that you can't drink from and uh, shards of glass inside the beer which can cause bloody diarrhea if you drink it. So the number one thing is to avoid smashing the neck of the bottle. And the way you do that is uh, you, don't, you don't swing like this, this is the incorrect way to swing. You start off at the bottom of the, uh, of the bottle like this and you slide up the bottle. Keeping constant contact with, you, with the bottle as you're sliding up, that'll uh, minimise the risk of um, smashing, the, uh, smashing the neck on the bottle. Now the other thing is you need to be using the right type of spatula. This is the right type of spatula, it's an uh, old style one, it's flexible. It's, uh, it'll contour to the, uh, to the lip of the bottle as it, as it goes up rather than smashing it. Um, now the other things you're looking for is to get it on the first swing. So you don't want to do a windy. Um, to do that you just keep downwards pressure on the bottle all the way up. You don't want to do a windy and miss the cap altogether. Just keep a slight downwards pressure to make sure you keep close contact with the bottle as you're running up. Um, now you want the cap to, uh, to to get thrown away, and you want the uh, and you want a nice popping noise coming from the bottle. Now to do that, you need to make sure you follow through correctly with your swing. You don't want to be doing this. If you do that, you're likely to just um, dislodge the cap slightly, and the, and it will take several strikes to uh, to remove the cap fully. So a nice follow through. Now to, to to help you with your follow through, what you can do is step forward. If you're right-handed, step forward with your, with your right foot, similar to doing a backhand. You uh, step forward as you're doing the stroke to, um, to make put your shoulder in the correct position so that you uh, to help you to follow through correctly. And the other thing is keep your fingers uh, well behind the bottle. You don't want to strike your hand as you're sliding up. Um, keep down with pressure and follow through, and you should you should have a uh, good clean removal of the cap. So let's give it a go. Ah, beautiful. Look, the cap is miles away in the bush over there. Nice, good popping noise. First strike, that's the way you want to do it.